feel like I look like Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Hey guys, it's Veronica and I'm back with another video. Today I want to talk about a very important issue that all foreign teachers must cope with at some point in their life here in Korea and that is the serious life-threatening issue of desk warming. Dun, dun, dun. I'm kidding, of course. Desk warming is not that serious, but yeah, I just thought I'd make a video about it. Oh god, my brows are raggedy. So before I start talking about this topic, I just want to apologize ahead of time for my raggedy appearance. As usual, uh, I've been going through some stuff, so yeah, I have not been taking care of myself at all, and I'm just like over over it so this is what you get i did not care about dressing up at all this entire winter vacation because there's nobody here so why would i anyways if you are a native english speaking teacher in a korean public school through epic gepic or smoe then you will know quite well what desk warming is if you don't know what desk warming is let me break it down for you. So since I work in Seoul under SMOE, I get 21 vacation days. If you work in a different province, if you're in a different city, you might get less or more. I'm not sure what the other provinces are. Maybe I think I heard 19 days. I, I don't know for sure. Don't quote me. So but if you work in Seoul like me, you get 21 days and we have to use those 21 days throughout the entire year for winter vacation, lunar new year, and summer vacation. And we just have to be very careful about how we split up our days so that we don't run out. Because sometimes you do have to use your vacation time to leave work early for different personal issues. So yeah, you just have to be very careful and use your vacation time sparingly and wisely. 21 days is actually not that bad. I think it's a pretty decent amount. However, everybody else gets a lot more vacation time than you. My school in particular, we have the entire month of January off of school. It's vacation time, so there's no classes, teachers don't come to school, students don't have to come to school unless they joined some kind of club or um, winter time sports camp or a science camp or an extra computer class or something that they're taking for fun or their, their parents are making them take it or something like that but it's not actual public school time school is not in session so if you are a regular Korean person who is a teacher in a public school you also get all of that time off as vacation because you don't have to teach class and maybe you have to come to school for some kind of like office work maybe once or twice and also to file your taxes because right now it's tax season in Korea but other than that it is your time off to play and travel and do you for foreign teachers however that is not the case because 21 days is not enough to take off one month in the winter and one month in the summer plus a week and a half in uh, lunar new year it's simply not enough so what do we do instead we come to work for maybe two or three weeks in the winter, maybe two or three weeks in the summer, and we teach English camp. So in my case, in the past, for the winter, I taught three weeks of English camp, one week of vacation, actual vacation time, come back to school to finish off the school year, and then in February, we take another week and a half or two weeks for New Year. And then the new school year starts in March. This year, however, my school only asked me to teach two weeks of English camp in the winter. So that means I have one extra week of nothing to do. So can't I just stay home? Can't I travel somewhere? Nope, because I don't have enough vacation days. So what I have to do is come to school, sit in my office, and occupy myself for eight nine hours a day for a week and that is what desk warming is because you're sitting in your chair you're warming your chair with your butt you're warming your desk with your body sitting on it like this for eight hours a day doing nothing some people some of my friends even have really strong feelings about desk warming they hate it because it just seems so pointless and like why would they ask us to come here and do this nobody else has to do this only us as foreigners have to sit through this 
desk warming time. Can't we like work from home at least since we're not actually even working? Can't we just sit at home and watch Netflix instead of sitting at our office and watching Netflix? Like what's the difference? And I totally get that. I totally get the frustration. I don't really have a problem I guess with desk warming. I agree that it kind of really doesn't make sense but it's in the contract. I signed the contract. That's just part of the deal. And really since I didn't plan to travel anywhere I'm doing basically the same thing here that I would at home. I'm on the computer, I'm in really comfy clothes, eating snacks, like, mm -mm, it's not that different. And there's a lot of ways to entertain yourself, which I will talk about in a second. My big problem with desk warming and coming to school during the vacation at all is construction. During the winter and summer vacations, your school or at least my school uses this time as like an opportunity to spruce up the building and so lately there's been a lot of construction pro projects in my school for the past like a year or so during the winter vacations and I gotta tell you it drives me nuts because I have to sit here and I have to listen to the loud noises of construction and deal with all of the inconveniences. For example, this didn't happen this winter vacation, but in the summer, my school decided we're going to get all new bathrooms. We're going to get rid of squatting toilets, which is awesome, and we're going to install a bunch of new toilets and retile the floors and the bathrooms. Okay, that's great. However, all of the construction took place during my English camp like class time, and my classroom shares a wall with the bathroom. So during the class time, they're jackhammering in the bathroom. Like, it's so unbearably loud. My kids are miserable because they're trying to study and work and like do their writing. And it's jackhammering right on the other wall. Like, and they just decided to go ahead and drill and jackhammer all of the bathrooms at once. So our school had no bathrooms for a couple weeks which means I had to go to the bathroom outside, like not outside, like in a, a bathroom elsewhere, or I just had to hold it all day and like bring my own toilet paper because the bathroom in the gym doesn't have toilet paper. Like, that's crazy. Like, I, I'm a human being, I needed to use the toilet. And they passed a new law that there's, they're not allowed to have um, the little baskets for throwing away toilet paper anymore so they are trying to get people to throw toilet paper into the toilet now however like if you're female you still need a bin to throw away your female products after you use them and so i couldn't find any bathroom in my school with a basket so i could throw away my stuff because I was on my period. So in my school the dumpsters are inside this like gate thing and they lock it during the winter time which means all of the trash that I accumulate from you know my English camps where I give my kids snacks and we cook food and I have to clean it up after them and then plus me having to go out and buy lunch every single day and eating lunch here. I've got a lot of trash now after three weeks of doing that every day and there's no way for me to throw it away because the dumpster is locked. This time, something is wrong with our electrical system or our internet. Something was wrong electrically. And for the first two weeks in my classroom, there was no internet. So it was really hard for me to do my work for the English camp, like preparing the actual English camp, because I need to like find images online and stuff. And so I was doing work at home every day because I couldn't do work at school because there's no internet. So I'd be staying up till like 11 at night doing all the work that I should have been doing in my office, but I couldn't because there was no internet. And then if I wanted to entertain myself, I couldn't use the internet. And then a couple of days ago, due to whatever electrical work they were doing, all of the power in my school just like went out before my work day was over. So I'm just sitting in my office like, um... What am, what am I supposed to do? There's no heater now, there's no computer, there's no lights. I'm just sitting in a dark, cold office. So I actually left a little bit early without asking permission. And then yesterday, 
the lights in my office went out suddenly so I know it's not like one light bulb it was all the lights all at once went out my computer still works which is cool and I told people like somebody can somebody please fix the lights because whatever you did you broke my lights and like yeah yeah we'll fix it and I was like sitting in the in the office this morning waiting to like have somebody come and fix it and nobody came so I was like okay I'll just I'll wait in my office and uh, you let me know when they come and it is almost time for me to go home and nobody has come to fix the lights. People really don't consider the fact that us foreign teachers, like, we have to, we don't have a choice by law. Like, we have to be here and sit through all of the, like, construction, all of the inconveniences, the cold weather, not having anything to do because there's really no work to do. Like I said, I don't really have a problem with the desk warming I have a problem with having to deal with all of the inconveniences during winter break in general so that's my issue so now that I'm done ranting I want to tell you a little bit about what you can do during desk warming to make it less shitty because it can be pretty bad but there's a lot of ways to entertain yourself especially if you have internet so I'll just tell you some of the things that I've been doing to keep myself busy during this long dark time alone in my office. First, of course, you can do actual school work. In my case, all of my grades have finished the textbook completely and we still have a couple more weeks of school before graduation. If you don't have anything to teach, you can come up with lessons and make lesson plans and stuff during your desk warming time. Another thing that you can do is you can clean. So I know personally my office gets really cluttered especially when I'm busy especially during camp I've got all kinds of weird objects all over the place because of my camp and snacks and stuff and also the classroom gets really messy and over the school year you accumulate dust all over the place and you can actually clean do a little bit of it's not spring but you can do like a spring cleaning of your office which is really refreshing and nice I highly recommend that I always do a little bit of cleaning during my vacation time another really productive thing that you can do is study Korean I don't care how long or short you plan on living in Korea the more Korean you know the easier life gets so definitely use your time wisely to study Korean you can watch um, videos online or listen to podcasts online or you can bring your textbook with you to school and study that's what I've been doing and then getting away from like being a productive human being you can of course watch Netflix watch YouTube listen to music I've been just devouring documentaries on Netflix I watched so many I watched the Whitney Houston documentary can I be me oh my god Oh, I watched one about the Polka King guy because they made a comedy starring Jack, Jack Black on Netflix but then they're, it's like based on a real story and they have the documentary on Netflix so I watched that first. I love watching documentaries about like cults and scammers. I don't know why it's like really fascinating to me to see how people can like manipulate others like not that I'm trying to learn that. I just like it like blows my mind that anybody is that like delusional and like evil to manipulate people like that and then like hearing how people like totally rational people like fall for that kind of stuff it's kind of scary because it's like any that could happen to anybody really so yeah but I'm obsessed with YouTube I watch way too much YouTube so definitely watch a lot a lot of YouTube um, I've also been listening to some music, especially Korean music, and I'm trying to increase my repertoire for the Norebang. So today I was practicing uh, that song by B2B, the one that's really popular right now, Missing You in English. I'm trying to get the lyrics down pat so that I can go to the Norebang after school and sing that song in the Norebang. You can also read a book, bring a book, bring a magazine. You can take a nap if nobody's going to come check on you. You can do your nails or do a face mask, do something to pamper yourself, do your makeup. If you plan on going out after work, take a, take a nice long time doing your makeup right, do your hair, whatever. You do online shopping. You can do your taxes since it's tax season. I did my taxes yesterday for Korea, not yet for America. I hate doing my taxes for America, but doing your taxes in Korea is so easy. Holy crap. As a teacher, anyways. I don't know about other places. You could exercise even if you bring... Um, workout clothes or if you're like me where you just 
you wear leggings to work, you could do exercise at school and get your workout in. Or if you are trying to come up in this world, then you could work on your blog, you can work on your YouTube, you can edit a video, we can work on your Instagram post. I definitely enjoy eating my meals really slowly because during a regular school day you have to eat really quick because lunchtime is short and you gotta get back to teaching but during vacation time there is no actual like lunch time so I just like take a nice long hour to eat my meal really slowly watching some videos so I don't hate desk warming at all. I think it's fine because I'm doing, like I said, I'm doing what I would do at home anyways. I just really hate the construction and dealing with all the construction and the noise and the dust and the trash and the like cementy footprints in my office that now I have to go sweep. But yeah, that's it for this video. I just really wanted to rant a little bit and tell you about the realities of uh, winter vacation, summer vacation, desk warming, and all that. I didn't really get too far into the topic of actual English camp. So if you want me to make a video about English camp, I can also do that and explain what that's about. I probably should have made that video and this video earlier since now for most people camp time is over but oh well i'm really excited because today is my last day of desk warming so yeah i'm finally free after today so thank you for watching and i hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are i hope the weather is treating you well it's very cold here but getting better every day and i will see you in the next video bye